Now the glue is cured, you can see that's properly cured. We're going to be using from the, the rest of the parts in your kit. There's some protective Teflon tape. There's some mastic. Some rubber. There's some aluminium tape. And we also have nitrile B coating as well. First of all, we can start the uh, banding off. This banding will be used later to hold the transmitter on. So we can loosen this off nicely. Move it out of the way for now. The next step is to take off the silicon gum. And we can see that the gauges are bonded nicely. That drop of glue that we put on all hard. So now we can proceed to take the mylar tape off. And to take this off, we want to fold it back on itself. Once we're past the gauge, then we can just take it off normally. Just to stop any chance of damaging the gauge as it's coming off. And again here, just hold the connector. Exactly the same. That tapes off. We only want enough to go over both gauges. Just with a pair of scissors. And that's that tape over the gauges. Now the next thing we want to carefully just put a finger there and just lift, lift the wires up a little bit. So what we're going to do, small amount of this. So we can push the wires in. Exactly the same on the other one. Using the scissors, we're just going to cut a piece just a bit bigger. See, that's going to cover nicely over the gauges and over the tape to protect them. And it's just a case of working it down nicely with the thumb. Getting it all nicely on. Pull the tape off. Next step is with the uh, neoprene rubber. We're going to cut something just a little bit smaller. About five mil in. And then just with a finger, gently taper the edge of the mastic down onto the shaft. Take that drop off now. And 
Now once that's done, we're going to be looking at the uh, aluminium tape. We want to go a good centimetre over. With the tape just a little bit over there. Smooth that down, just the handle of the scissors or just to gently smooth that down, smooth any creases down. And then the second piece we want the same size. to overlap that and again with the scissors just gently smooth out Just make sure all the edges are tight down. Then next stage is with the uh, M coat B. Need to give it a good shake. Then we're going to work it around the wires there. Going to go around all the outside and all the joins. This is acting as another layer of environmental protection just to stop any moisture being able to get in. Then we let that coat dry. Once that's dry, we do a second coat. 